Alright, note to self, if you're doing oil-based <laughs> paints and it's uh, not consistently above 70 degrees, 70 degrees, and uh, if it is a moist day, this stuff is going to take forever to dry. Look at that. It, it's still tacky and, and, and wet, kind of. Well, not wet, but just it's sticky. So this thing is going to take all day to dry. So because we got some sticky paint here, I'm not sure if we can access part of this uh, today. Um, to weld in some uh, su supports uh, for the uh, panels up top. Um, so we will let you know shortly. You know what I've noticed about what? when you're filming? What? That I'm literally wearing the same thing in every single photo I feel like because I just keep wearing the same work clothes uh -huh. so every day you turn the camera these people probably think we filmed it all in one day art imitates life he never changes <laughs> his clothes by the way um, okay so here's the update this is a couple days later it rained like crazy up here yet again so we're gonna mount the panels um, are you doing a DIY on this one yeah, I'm going to do... A That's right, because yeah. he has kind of proprietary uh, well, installation yeah, thing. Yeah, some of it's going to be like more of a full, complete, super, super in-depth. And then I am doing a YouTube video on more of the basics of kind of how to think through but, mounting your panels. Yeah, mounting. So, so yeah, we're, mounting. we're just going to talk about mounting. I'll just show you the brackets. You're going to have to click and pay this dude if you want all the detailed information. But um, we're using, um, I think like I said in a, the previous day, we're using some... Um, some like table brackets or what are those things called? Uh, those are I think hinges. Yeah, those are hinge hinges. Hinges. Uh, what are they? Uh, fence hinges. Yeah, they're oh, yeah hinges. We're just gonna you know secure them in place. The ones we got with uh, AM Solar, super high quality little L brackets. Um, the school buses on the side tilt quite a bit. Uh, you know, and so we we didn't want to have the panels like at such an extreme angle. So we're trying to. Um, trying to raise it up a bit to make it a bit more flat. You don't have to. That's what we're choosing to do. That's why we're going through all this. Um, also, quick update. Um, we're having a hard time uh, getting things delivered here. <laughs> and um, so it's a little, little frustrating when uh, you order something on Amazon and then it never processes. And then uh, I think one thing got uh, delivered and then sent back because the people at the post office didn't know I was using campground host Brad's address stuff like that so I had a couple little issues also I can't stress enough if anyone wants to do vegetable oil get a hold of Nate and I, I put his information on a previous video I'll probably put on this one nategun22 at gmail.com huge help I ordered from a, um, a veggie oil company I think they're going out of business I didn't know it they didn't tell me it's been a freaking nightmare thanks if you see this for the um, discount but it's been a really like giant pain in my butt uh, trying to get uh, help there's no help whatsoever trying to get the parts now we're like on the second week waiting for bolts or something and they never told me and I don't know I just got a funny feeling about them so Nate get a hold of Nate if you want to do this because he will walk you through the whole thing 200 bucks for one year uh, I just had to give him a plug because he's been helping me so much anyways let's pick up where we uh, left off so for all the people asking me, why Canada? What'd you do it there? How is it? Is it hard to order parts? Whatever, if you're curious. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little hard to order parts. Um, but I came up here for badge. I think everybody knows that by now um, for his generous offer to help us do the vegetable oil. Um, so it was definitely worth it for that. Um, but, uh, you know, we are having a good laugh about it earlier. He's like, welcome to Canada. <laughs> And we're just laughing because you can get things delivered to Amazon like same day up here. It's like a week later if you're lucky. <laughs> we're not going to do, I'm not going to do a complete um, thing of what we're doing because what we're doing is a little bit advanced. We're essentially bolting in the panels or the, the brackets into the bus. And the reason we're doing that is because we have the entire uh, bus stripped out. So if you ever need to re replace a panel for some reason, we'll just take it off here. But these bolts will stay pretty much forever. Uh, 
and <laughs> so this isn't like the typical way that you would install these uh, solar panels. Look at how beautiful these things are, by the way. But if you do a complete um, gut of your bus, um, I recommend to do this. So hop on over to uh, uh, Navigation Nowhere's video for that. Now, if you're just going to add panels to an existing bus, if you haven't taken out the roof, what you um, the best way to do this is to find these rivet marks. In between the rivet marks, there's about a quarter inch um, to about a half an inch piece of metal. As long as you follow this rivet, well maybe about a half inch, as long as you follow this rivet, you will drill into an additional layer of metal, okay? This part is hollow, don't drill into that. Drill into this part and make the, um, the front brackets, these ones, sideways. So mount them on the front or the back. I recommend doing the front ones because that's the one that hits the wind, right? So mount the front ones sideways and then you can do the long ones longwise and you can get at least one of the brackets to screw into this. So then you have three out of four per side and that's pretty good, that's good enough. Um, then of course put your die core over it, take off the adhesive mount, right? So you have a little additional stickiness. Um, but this way is a little bit advanced, so I'll leave the advanced stuff to the advanced guy, which is Mike, Navigation Nowhere. What's up, Badge? You know what I just totally realized? We didn't do any sort of a time-lapse B-roll, but we got almost all of the panels uh, mounted. We're just working on this one. Um, <coughs> the included brackets are not these. We actually picked these up. I think I mentioned that. The other ones look like, uh, like this that come in the kit. I had them on the last one, and they work really well. But um, because the skylight is so massive, it puts uh, these things at uh, such a tilt. And also we have this funny lip here from the, uh, the handicap door and such a big space. So we didn't want to tilt them like super crazy because what happens is at 90, 90 degree angles, it starts to... Well, it goes straight up from the roof. So 90 degrees, you know, would be sticking out that way. 90 degrees would be sticking up a bit more that way. And so it's kind of hard to get them um, to fit properly when you mount them on the sides. If you mount them on the front, there's no issue whatsoever. Um, and like I said, if you do mount them on the front, get into where the, uh, the rivets are and mount them like this sideways. So that's why we're doing these big ones and why we have bolts and not using the, the stuff they gave us because this bus is 100% custom. So not everything is going to fit. Right, Mike? 100% custom? Yep. Oh, uh, no, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready for the uh, big reveal? This is the uh, Tornado Proof Solar Panel Bracket Install. Just a simple little, uh, I forget what these things are called, but it is a type of washer. Nylon nut, bolt, and uh, we are drilling out the mounts. I don't, ha I don't have a regular mount on me, but we drilled out the mounts to fit. We've got mount right there, a little tiny mount. Just brought it into the bus, and uh, there's no reason to take these things off. This all will be spray foam, so uh, like I said, if you are, um, if you follow the rivets, like I said up top, the rivets are right in here, and that goes into this beam. It, this beam goes up and then goes this way, so that is the ideal way to uh, screw it in. If you are not stripping out your bus, if you are adding a panel, if you are uh, making a little upgrade, um, uh, so yeah, just go sideways in the front, totally secure. Had them on the last bus, not one problem. The problem is, if you just use a metal screw and a sheet metal, um, that's not the best way to do it. And if you have high enough winds, it'll just strip it right out. Those are little screws. If you don't believe me, hit up Steampunk Steve or uh, Nomadic Fanatic. They can tell you all about putting screws right into sheet metal, which um, 
actually makes me guess if I'm correct with my statement because I know Steve did lose a panel and I think he, I think that's what he did.